Today we will see a fascinating chemical reaction called the ferro-serpent experiment. It involves burning a white powder called mercury, 2 thiocyanate, which produces a long snake-like ash that grows and branches out. This reaction was discovered in 1821 by a German chemist named Friedrich Wöhler. Mercury, 2 thiocyanate, is very toxic, so we have to be careful when handling it and avoid breathing its fumes. The sugar snake experiment is a demonstration of a chemical reaction that produces a large amount of gas and solid carbon. The experiment involves heating a mixture of baking soda and sugar. The heat causes the baking soda to decompose into carbon dioxide gas and water vapor, while the sugar caramelizes and forms long strands of black carbon. The carbon strands grow out of the container like a snake, creating an impressive visual effect. This effect continues until all the sugar and baking soda has been burned. Citric pyrolysis is a method of synthesizing yttrium barium copper oxide, YBCO, a high-temperature superconductor, from metal nitrates and citric acid. The process involves mixing the nitrates and the acid in a stoichiometric ratio, heating the mixture to evaporate the water, and then calcining the resulting gel at high temperatures to form YBCO. When the water evaporates, a brittle snake-like structure appears that is made of yttrium barium copper oxide. When P-nitroaniline is heated, it undergoes a thermal decomposition reaction, which means it breaks down into simpler molecules. One of the products of this reaction is nitrogen gas, N2, which is released as bubbles from the solid P-nitroaniline. These bubbles create channels or pores in the solid, making it expand and stretch into a long snake-like structure. 